Hey, it's time for the Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest, not this week, uh, this week we are the guests, to talk about the ever-expanding Geekiverse and to play a game with us, and we're going to play with ourselves on this one. Uh, and the audience. Uh, we'll do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. I'm your host, Peter Bryant, and joining me this week is my buddy, Mike Kafis. Oh, right. There you go. <laughs> random one. That's it. <laughs> Not random one, ones. One, random and one. one and done. One and done. <laughs> now, this show was Mike's idea, and uh, no, it I think wasn't. he stole it. I oh, was, I did it. Okay, it was his right. idea to me, but he stole it from Spence. And we're going to give Spence a big old plug because she's going to be doing one of these tomorrow night, Mike. Uh, Wednesday night. Wednesday. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Okay, and we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll talk about it a little bit more, just uh, just a tiny bit, just so you all can get there. But uh, this week, it's ask us anything. Type questions in the chat room, and we'll answer every question we can get to. Not all answers will be what you expect. Some may even be true, but we will do our best to discuss whatever you want to know. Please, no questions about less than legal activities. At least one of us holds a security clearance. Ask anything, ask about anything we like, what our favorites are, worst drinking mishaps, convention stories, run-ins with the law, best recipes, whatever. Ask away, y'all. This is your show. We dedicate this show to all of our fans and uh, the people in the room, too. So, <laughs> so without further ado. What do we call our fans? What do we, what we call, call our fans? Mythfits. Our Mythfits. Myth yes, yes, yes. Our, um, our chat with our misfit, the Mythwits chat with the Mythfits. That's correct. Yes. And Peter Piper may stop by too. Peter Piper. Okay. Oh God, Paul just jumped in the room. Oh God, we're All dead. Right. Here we go. Best. Oh, Lar uh, you know what? Spence. Spence gets the first one of the night. Okay, because we're dedicate. We're kind of dedicating this show to her idea a little bit. Um, uh, when when is it? It's Wednesday night at six o'clock Eastern time, right, Mike? Uh, oh, Wednesday, yes, six o'clock Eastern ish. Okay, and it's going to be her face. Jump in and, and talk. She's having her own AMA about her own and en sound engineering stuff. Oh, cool. Okay, sound engineering stuff, fantastic. And um, and it and it's it is Spence Laura Nicole on Facebook. It'll be a Facebook Live type of deal. She's in the chat room right now, so you can just click on her picture, follow her page, follow her. And then you will get a notification when it comes up. And you can do the same thing with her. She's a lot of fun um, to talk to and to hang out with. So anyway, so she gets first question. What is the best fake spoiler for um, for Infinity War? Uh, and as some people are calling it Infinity Wars, um, <laughs> I'm going to say, all right, so I think, I think they're going to have the Hulk appear with a blowgun. And he's going to literally shoot Ant-Man into Thanos' ass. And Ant-Man is going to turn into Giant-Man. And that's going to be the end of him. What do you think, Mike? I think you wrote the uh, Infinity Wars Part 2, basically. <laughs> I think you wrote how uh, Thanos is going to be defeated, right. personally. Uh, but I don't know. Because to be honest with you, I don't, know any, I don't know any of the spoilers other than Paul that just said that, uh, that uh, what's-his-name dies. Um, Everybody dies. No, he said, uh, who the hell was it? Oh, Iron Man dies. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. Hey, folks, yeah. if you're watching this, we, we can't spoil yeah. shit. We ain't seen yeah. it yet. I have an appointment with the Avengers tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. So uh, My appointment's Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Yes, I am. So for, for the Infinity Wars. <laughs> <laughs> for the Infinity Wars, both of them. <laughs> all, all Infinity Wars. Okay. Um, Let's see. Uh, when you Blood woke up. hurt. What's that? Do uh, the one question in the chat room is do butt plugs hurt? Asking butt for a friend, and I could say that not if you're doing it right. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I'm not sure, but Mike, I think I think that nails it. And Tori is asking a serious question again, okay. to which we do not know the answer. Who is gonna win round two, Washington Capitals or Pittsburgh Penguins? I'm rooting for the Caps as well, Tori, but I honestly don't know. I haven't had a chance to watch much of the games, but I do love hockey. So and I oh that's hockey rely, yeah yes, it's hockey yes, yes Peter that's oh, hockey sweet okay cool yes I yes. like hockey um that that's so not the I one rely on your Facebook posts Tori is... to keep me informed about what's going on Mike is hockey the one where they sweep in front of the person with the puck going down the thing no 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 that's curling, curling. and 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 hockey is the little puck 
and 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 there's big guys and they wear gear and it's more about like you know there's oh it's a sport that they they pass a puck around in between fights oh okay i like that yeah, i like yeah, i like yeah. fighting i like fighting games i like fighting sports balls yeah. things the okay. only thing that's missing is the more blood like a blood sport you know like a oh like a uh 700 years in the future uh hockey hmm if any, if only somebody could write uh, a fictional depiction of what that would look like with aliens mm. seven hundred years in the future. Aliens with hockey. With hockey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. the. <laughs> so, <What? laughs> Tori says, "Oh, Peter, we need to get you a game." No, you don't. No, you don't. Nope. You'll be very disappointed in yeah, my sports he, ballmanship. <laughs> he will be on his phone, like yeah. literally. He, yeah. He's not a sports man at all. Yeah. I love sports. He just can't jump across. Yeah. He's. I don't get the S on my chest for sportsman. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, do you prefer video games or tabletop games? Okay, I'm a tabletop game guy. I like video games, but I straight up tabletop games for me. Mm, both. Uh, both are equally important. I like the social aspect of, Mike, of video games. You, no, that wasn't the question. You got to put a nickel down. Pick one. What? Pick what? one. Which one do you like more than the other? Oh, fuck. I'm going to shoot your child in the head if you don't answer the question. Which one do you like better? Wh wh which one are you going to shoot in the head? Uh, which one do you like? <laughs> I guess I love them all. All right. Uh, I, all right. So I will say tabletop games as well because of the social aspect. Right, so, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's hard to drink yeah, beer yeah. when you're holding a joystick, too. You know, that's. Well, I mean, if never mind. Yeah. <clears throat> that's what. Never mind. Will, all right. So Paul says, Will Evangeline Lilly have a job after Ant Man 2? I hope so. I mean, she's a good actress. Um, yeah, yeah, she will. She'll be fine. She's good. I think Ant Man 2 is going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, where did the bad myth wits touch you? Uh, there's everywhere. There's everywhere. not a there's not a bad place. That's I mean, they're bad myth wits, but there's yeah. always good places. So right. we, we like, yeah. That's good. Touch, touch away, touch away. Um, oh, real quick. So between questions here, um, if you hear my dog whining, it's because we had to get her, and this is a really weird term, fixed today. Um, it seems to me that she was working just fine. We got her broken, um, but she's she's she had to have her uh, had to have her lady parts removed and. Lady um, bits. And her, her, yeah, her lady bits. Um, and she came through it just fine. She is, she's fantastic. She was really fucking miserable, though, this 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 afternoon. My wife called me up. She's like, look at her. And she sent me a picture. And she's like, mm. and she put me on FaceTime with the dog. And the dog's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. and she's been whining. But then daddy came home and I cheered her up. And I've, I've been sitting on the couch with her petting her. And she's really sparked up. So she's in a really good mood. But she's still a little whiny. Uh, she'll be okay. The... The only um, the only thing that that I'm really not gonna like tonight is putting her in her in her crate um, with the cone on with the cone of shame. I may oh, leave. She's got the whole cone. She has oh, to, she has oh to come get... on! Is she, is she right behind you? No. Yeah, she is, but she doesn't have it on right now. Oh, she's okay. Damn, if I'm, I can keep an I eye love... on her. My favorite thing is a dog with a cone head. I oh, I don't I know why. That. It's just it's a little terrible. I, I don't want to say fetish. I just want to say it's a extremely easy. Easy. What? Easy oh. now. Oh. But she'll be okay. Look, she'll be okay. She's just going to be a little miserable night with the cone. I got to leave it on because they'll go at their stitches and you got you, you can't let them do that. I might leave her out though because she can't really chew anything up with that cone on. Like She can't like get into anything. <laughs> I know. I know. Because yeah, you know what? I'm, I, I'm just reading something and Paul said, and I'm just going back into the chat. So he said Peter Parker gets hits puberty in the mid-battle. It was super awkward. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> He's like he's in the middle of the fight and his balls just bloop. He's like, oh, hey, that's pretty cool, right? He's like, oh wow, fighting Thanos. <clears throat> Get up here, Thanos, and kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, uh, yeah. So if you hear my dog whining, that's why she's okay. She'll be all right. She uh, oh, which cartoon character would you choose? Which cartoon? Any cartoon character? Tori, Tori, is that any cartoon character? Because I got one that is my favorite of all time. My favorite cartoon character of all time. Oh, Mike, well, can you course. can you guess what? my all-time favorite cartoon character? <sighs> like, like not superhero, but like no, of all time, any, just anywhere, all time, any cartoon character oh, ever oh, made. It's it's uh oh shit! It's it's an oldie. It's like seventies mm -hmm. ish, and it's there's could be even older. The, the dude. I can't think of it. It's um, 
What if you say it, I'll know it, and uh, you got to believe me that I know it. Like, s- s- give me, give me a hint, and I'll tell you. It's similar. That's a hint. That's not the. That's not going to give it to you. That's the whistle stop song. Yeah, that's... but what cartoon character is walking during that? Oh, Baloo, or no? Is it Baloo? No. What is his name? I, I say, I say, I say, Mike. My favorite cartoon character I say is a uh, is a uh, Foghorn Leghorn. You, you ain't too bright there, son. <laughs> I was thinking Johnny. What is it, Johnny Quest? That's what I was thinking. I like Johnny Quest. I like Johnny Quest, but he's not. He's nowhere near my favorite. He's not even in the top ten. So were you telling me? Because what was her question? Her question was, if you Who's could be a cartoon character, which one would you? But you would choose to be Foghorn Fuck Leghorn. Yeah, I would totally be Foghorn Leghorn. I would number all my feathers just in case. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm a rubber crutch. Okay. I love, I love Foghorn, man. He's my favorite. All right. I mean, everyone's, yeah. All right. That's good. Who's your favorite, Mike? Cartoon character. Any cartoon character. If I could be a cartoon character? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, oh, that's tough, man. Uh, probably, sp- maybe, sp- no, I can't be SpongeBob. I don't know. <laughs> SpongeBob's like a superhero, man. He can do anything. I like, know, I know. Maybe SpongeBob. I don't know. SpongeBob's cool. He's like he can like transform into shit. Like he can turn into anything, <laughs> right? I mean, he has a skeleton when he needs one. He doesn't have yeah. a skeleton when he doesn't. You know? Sponge when he doesn't. <laughs> right. It's right. pretty cool. And he's funny. Um, but yeah, I like that. All right, so uh, let's see. Yes, Alan Adele from Robin Hood. That's what yeah. she. Yep. Yeah. So, what Hogwarts house? Now, I'm not I'm not the biggest Potter person. Oh, I'm not but, a Potter file. Um, but I don't think I would be Gryffindor. Um, I I kind of like goofy shit. So, I'm thinking, what's the one that Luna Luna Lovegood is in? Because oh, I love her. She's my favorite Harry Potter character. You you just remember how we were talking about sports before? Yeah. That's how I am with Harry Potter. Not because I don't like it. Right. I just haven't seen them, and I'm I'm ignorant. Oh, who would I choose for Mike? Oh, what house would I put Mike? Oh, each other in. Oh, I'm sorry, Spence. I I, I okay. Which house would I put Mike? Oh, Mike is. Oh God, what is Mike? Mike is definitely that house. What's Hufflepuff? Yep, Mike is a Hufflepuff. Absolutely. I I I don't I don't I feel like I should be protesting that, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. So, yes, Team Hufflepuff, Fluffernutter, <laughs> Hufflepuff. Okay, whatever. We're both kind of Hufflepuff. We're both idiots. <laughs> I mean, they're they're the artsy kind, they're, I think. From I mean, unless I'm getting this wrong, people in the chat room, correct me. No, if, I could if, go if with a Ravenclaw. Lynn Hallett says Ravenclaw. And, uh, Ravenclaw. I, I, I don't know. I just, I just like the name of that. Pineapple and pizza? Fuck yeah, I'm in. Uh, not, not a big pineapple person on the whole pineapple and pizza sorry <laughs> uh, all right so mike's a no i'm a yes i'll, I'll do it i'll do it yeah. <laughs> what is this team team party badger mike <laughs> what the hell is I, I don't even know okay. all right um <laughs> all right uh here we're gonna throw a question out to the chat room so uh here here's an interesting question you guys have to answer this question for us okay one of us, Peter I, has spent a night in jail. Okay? So everyone chime in now. Tell us who has spent the night in jail. Me and, or Pete? <laughs> we'll give it a second while while they think about it. Now, Mike, I'm I'm feeling that they're gonna know this one. They're they're gonna I feel like they're gonna get this one now. Tara, it's funny, Tara. Tara. Tara Judica is one of my best friends in the world. Hey, Tara. Just joined in. Um, she knows. She knows who. She knows. Speaking who. of a story that uh, that that we shouldn't be telling. Never mind. Um, no, that's a funny story. See. She knows that story. She witnessed it. <laughs> All right. So there's two Peters. God, no, no, no one. Oh, oh, Tori's, oh I, I got Tori's a vote. Per- Tori says me. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? That's two for Mike. Yeah. So Gryffindor is brave and reckless. Slytherin is cunning and resourceful. Hufflepuff is loyal and friendly. Aww. Ravenclaw is clever and bookish. Mm. And Spence thinks you've been in jail. Um, shit. Does that? <laughs> and also, Mike's been in jail. <laughs> does does that put does that fuck That's does that put true. me in Gryffindor? 
No, I'm not reckless. I'm not reckless. Uh, I'm brave. You know what? At what age? Oh, yeah, Gryffindor. You may have changed houses since you Because when I was in high school, brave, brave and reckless was pretty much my motto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heavy on the reckless. Yeah. All right. But shoot first. You're right. Should we? Something uh, else happened, but I forgot. <laughs> all right, Mike. Let's do I the see. reveal. Else, uh... Who spent the night in jail? This guy, Peter. Yes. Yep. Peter has spent the night in jail. I never forget when I got that call. Would you accept? <laughs> would you accept a collect call from the jail from this Baltimore City jail from Pete? <laughs> Peter Bryant. Uh, uh, oh yeah, no, I Bryant gotta wasn't take Bryant. This one. Right? Yeah. Oh, like, oh like, Tara says she doesn't remember this. Yeah, it was stupid. Okay, look, it wasn't even. A, it wasn't even a. It wasn't even a cool story. Okay. It really was. It's not it's even. Not. A, that's why I had to bring it up. It's so dumb. I went to Florida. I got in a car accident. I got a ticket, and I forgot to pay the fucking thing. And back then, you know, the the internet really was still kind of not really a thing. Um. So I came. I came back up. And forgot all about this ticket that I got from this accident. And I ran a stop sign and I didn't like run it, run it. I just kind of Hollywood ran it, you know, where I just kind of slowed down and turned. And it was, it was late at night. I was going out to get dinner about nine o'clock. We're going to watch a movie, We're late dinner, watch a movie. And, uh, cop pulled me over for the, for the thing. And then said, Oh, your license is suspended. And I was like, what? Why is my license suspended? He told me, I was like, Oh shit, I forgot that ticket. Okay. Well, what, you know, what's this going to cost me? He's like, I'm sorry. I have to take you to jail. Cause, uh, you can't drive on a suspended license. And he, he put, took me to the jail. Now, normally they would just take me before the justice and he would say, all right, yeah, no big deal. Go home, show up for court. This is your date, whatever. But he, uh, the last bus had just gone out and I missed it and I had to stay the night in jail and it sucked. Don't go to jail. It sucks. Um, yeah. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. Yeah. No, not even, not even, not even. No, no. Dumbass, dumbass. Dumbass. Yeah. Do. Yeah. It's okay. Not, right. It's not a cool one. Uh, first cars. Mike, what was your yeah, first? I'll yeah. let you go first. That's first why car. I pinned that one. Uh, so and that's what, that's what we'll do. Pin, pin a question that you like. We want to, we want to hit to, uh, my first car was uh, a Mazda GLC. Okay. Uh, I got it for my birthday, April the 14th, the uh, 19... 19 and... 19 and... <laughs> not, not, it was in the 1900s. <laughs> and, and I promptly totaled it within the first six months of having it. Yeah. Um, yeah, my old man bought me that car. And I felt... <laughs> looking back, I really feel like shit. Like this, again... This is why I can't have nice things. Like I have to buy my own nice things. Didn't you know, that motherfucker I, go up on its roof? When it did, like when you had the accident, didn't it turn over on its roof? No, Was no, that no, you? no, no. Oh no! But remi- all right, that's another story. I okay. rolled a van with patients and with a patient, a ninety-four-year-old man, ninety-four. <laughs> Fantastic. I can, I can. We can talk about that in a second. Fantastic. All right. So but, my first, my first car was a seventy-five Ford Pinto. It was yellow. It was yellow. Canary yellow. And I took a sander and I sanded down the bottom half in an attempt to make it a little cooler and painted that black. And we called it the Buzz Bomb because it was like a big. Stupid, ugly-looking bumblebee, um, but it was a great car. I loved it. the The engine had recently been rebuilt, and the transmission had been rebuilt, and the fucking thing was no frills. I mean, it was zero frills. I had to like get a radio and put it in because it, it didn't have one. Oh, the one that it had was crap. It was like an AM radio or something, like like AM only. And uh, but the thing was was a it was it was a great car. I drove it for oh man, like a year or so. Uh, it got totaled on the way to da- Danny Ocean. There, was going Danny yeah. Ocean. What parts um, of a car do you did you hate about? You hated a part of that car. You couldn't stand it. You just needed to get it away. You were just like, oh, I cannot stand this part of the car. I need to get it away. I need to get this off the car. Get it off the car. I don't like it. Don't oh, like was it, it the spoiler? It. No, it was the oil pan. You just couldn't oh, stand the uh, oil pan, uh, could you? Yeah. You just had to. You had to just bottom it out and get rid of the oil pan. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was uh, I was showing off. I, I got so I got my car and I went to high school, right? And I'm like, yeah, look at me with my car. So I was driving for like a week, and I pull out of the parking lot. And I still I'll never forget this. I pull out of, of the parking lot, and I'm like, I said, watch this. Best last words, you know. They're always the best last words. I fucking peel out. The road was a little wet, and the car did this like big giant fishtail, and then shot back, and then fucking ran right into the bus stop, right? Where all these people were standing. They were like split. It was like a movie saying, foof. <laughs> and the car went up on a curb and yeah. it tore the bottom pan out, the the, the oil pan out. Yeah. And I had to leave the car there. And I fucking, then I got on the bus stop and took the bus home. 
Oh, that was at the end of the day that day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the end of the right. day. Because what happened early in the morning when I got to school yeah. is you were tooling around, and it was like I'm just walking up, and all of a sudden, next thing I hear, get in. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> And I get it. So we're tooling all over the place, and you're fucking showing off and stuff. But I, I had forgotten that that was I wasn't in the car when you ditched the, the no. oil. No, <laughs> Matt, Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer, and louder. Uh, not yeah. not louder, louder, Matt Lauder, not Lauer. He's not not the not yeah, the famous guy. No. Matt Lauder and um, uh, Mike D. Fuck, who else was in the car? A couple people in the car. It was full of people. Oh my right. God, wow. watch this is the equivalent of hold my beer. Yeah, essentially, yeah. so true. Pretty much, pretty much. All right, so that was that's oh, it for the car. No, not not a big thing. Yeah. Um, Mike, what's the next color your goatee is going to be? Uh, I'm up for suggestions. I will not go red because I cannot get it red. It just goes pink. So <laughs> everyone else can. Um, can you haven't can done green. A, you haven't done green I, yet. I haven't done green. I think green. Um, you did purple. All right, I'll let everyone else know. Okay. Have a shot. It could be blue or green, I guess. Okay. Um, uh, so, hey, most one of the most embarrassing moments. So, uh, I have a lot of them, um, but I'm gonna since Tara's in the room, I'm gonna I am going to I'm gonna say this one real quick. There was a time when I had this weed eater that I bought, this gas powered weed eater, and I just bought this thing and it was fantastic, right? It was it was like you know you could cut through anything, you could put a blade on it and cut through bushes and shit, and um, so I used it. At the end of the year, we bought it at the end of the year, used it at the end of the year. I was like, great, this thing's awesome. I put it up, and then spring came around. I didn't use it until spring, and I didn't know anything, right, about taking care of this shit. So I didn't, like, run the gas out or pour the gas out or whatever, so I let it get gummed up. And then in the spring, I go to start the thing to run it, and I'm like, <laughs> and it wouldn't start right so finally i get it started and i think right and i go to cut with it and the second i hit the the gas on the thing it cuts out i'm like shit okay right so this goes on like fucking 10 times i'm getting madder and i'm getting madder and well, <laughs> younger younger pete yeah, oh had a god. very very short fuse. Yeah, oh my god! So very I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, you motherfucker! And I'm like cursing at it. And I'm like, come on! And it's like, and I hit the thing. And I was like, oh! So I start slamming the fucking thing against the tree, right? And I'm like, fuck you, right? I'm like, <laughs> I get all mad. I start stomping. I'm like, who's laughing now, motherfucker? And I picked it up and I threw it in the garage. <laughs> I went back in the house. Oh, so you didn't put it into a million pieces? No, it's no, it was durable. It was a pretty, pretty nice piece of machinery. Uh, probably would have. Hey, heard Paul. Something. Hey, hey, Paul. Welcome to our AMA. Ask so, us anything. So uh, then. Uh, so anyway, so Tara was watching this. She was she she lived with us at the time, and she was looking out her back window like, "What the fuck is going on out there? Is somebody getting killed?" Oh yeah, it was fun. It was that was. I come in and she's in there fucking cracking up, and uh, she didn't want me to hear her because she thought I'd get mad. But I, th I think I started laughing. I think I, I, because it was funny. It was pretty funny. So did, I, I've told you my story, my rage out story, right? When I, yeah. I went to, uh, it, this was when I had my, um, my black Honda Civic, and uh, I decided I'd go to Home Depot and I wanted some Adirondack chairs. Well, I just. Went <laughs> Oh my God! He almost did a spit take. Shit! I forgot about this. <laughs> so, so, oh my God! I it's get so these funny. Adirondack. I literally got two stacked Adirondack chairs into. Now it'd have been one thing if it was a hatchback, right? I mean, it was like just yeah. a hatchback. No, this was a sedan. Right. So I actually managed to fit with the seats, with the, the the side seats, and I managed to actually fit these these two Adirondack chairs stacked into the car. And when I say I managed to, I mean, it was one of those things where I got it and the last little leg, I had to go, <laughs> Lena was like, vunk, vunk, underneath the, by the, you know, the door. Right. So I get home. I don't know, time to pull these things out. So I, I pull them out, <laughs> try to pull them out. And I'm like trying to try, I could not get this thing out. And I'm like, finally, I just like give it a good yank, you know, like down and yank. <laughs> and then I heard crack. <laughs> and all of a sudden you could like, the sound of what usually is like ice, but that was my windshield going. Yeah. And then I just fucking, I hawked. I was like, <laughs> and I ripped one of the legs off the one chair and I fucking just ripped them both out. I got one chair out in pieces and I got the other chair out that was fine. <laughs> and I proceeded to, in the middle of the street, start pounding this chair, this other chair. <laughs> 
It's just it pounding. didn't do anything. And, 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 and hold on. So I get, I get, then I get the good chair up to the porch. Okay. Oh, oh, the good one. You didn't fuck up the good one. No, no, no. There was okay. one good chair. But I was like, oh, oh, one, one chair is going to pay. So I grabbed the three pieces that the other chair was in. I mean, we're talking about resin chair. Okay. Right, resin. Right. You know, it, it gives. Right. It's not like brittle. Right. So, so I take it into the house, right? And and my at the at the time my wife was was watching me, and I pull into the house, and she sees me just walking. I mean, and I am fuming, right? <laughs> and I go into the I go to the basement door, and I turn around, and she's looking at me, and I go, "No matter how loud I get, no matter what you think is going on, do not come downstairs." And I just fucking went into the basement. We had a basement. It was like just a floor. It was n nothing like fancy or anything. So right. I just I. I literally, I I want to say a thousand pieces, a thousand pieces just, that I put. I took, and then I just came upstairs and I'm like, ah. <laughs> Mike's like, we're going, we're going to take, we're going to get me a pipe wrench and a blowtorch. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's always been the thing about you and I. We would never hurt a human being. No. We would never put a finger on a human being. But if you, if you are an object and you smite us, yeah, yeah. Hell hath no fury. Yeah. Then a yeah. myth with scorned. Yep. All right. So we got some more. All right. So, okay. uh, so, all right. So, uh, Spence says, What guest did you get super excited to interview on the show? Oh, Man, yeah. Bob Camp. Bob Camp and, and, um, uh, Mike Mullane, astronaut. Both of those. Yeah, Fucking Bob super Camp excited for both of those. Mike Mullane was, was an awesome one, an astronaut. Now, Bob Camp was bittersweet for me, remember? Oh, God. That's right. Yeah, you couldn't talk yeah, to him. I, I, that for whatever suck. reason, the audio. And and remember when we – right after the interview, we all – I was just like, hey, everyone, um, can we, like, just log back – you know, log out and log back into the room? And everything mm -hmm. was fine. Yeah, it was literally a, a hangout sucked. glitch that, that yeah. killed me, and I couldn't talk to him. I was so blown. Um, also, for me, for us, I think having Scott Sigler on the show was kind of cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Scott. Scott's fantastic. And he hung out with us the whole time, too. We ran that show long. We shouldn't have. I feel bad. I felt like we held him for hostage. Yeah. But no, that, he was he was great. I So many. I mean, it's really hard to pick because there's really so many people that were really fantastic. Uh, Professor Elemental was a fucking cool-ass guest. He was really cool. And I was, I was pretty excited to have him on. Matter of fact, I got even – I liked – I wasn't as excited to have him on until he got on and we started talking to him. And I was like, Which one? Who was this? Professor Elemental. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he was just like the greatest dude, man. He was yeah. very fucking cool. That was good. Um, <laughs> Mike pounding a chair. Right. Mm. Okay. Uh, Lynn, says, Lynn says, red pill or blue pill? Uh, I would – I would – there's a part of me that would like the blue pill just because I could live in the fantasy land and just enjoy life. But there's oh, that yeah. other goddamn part of me. I, I, I'm a red pill person. I, I like to know the truth. I don't like to just roll with it. Yeah. I don't know. My, mine all came with red pills and they're all, and, <laughs> no, mine have all clear pills. It's just like, they're, they're just like all uh, sugar pills. <laughs> placebo <laughs> right right okay uh would you rather watch harry and the hendersons or weekend at bernie's on loop for six hours in a row bernie's weekend at bernie's no fucking contest harry and the hendersons or weekend at bernie's oh wow that is like a lesser of two evils for me i guess weekend at bernie's yeah i uh, took both yeah <laughs> so i took both pills right <laughs> take both pills that's like hey mike's like uh Viagra or Rufy? No, I'll take both. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, I knew um, that joke was coming. Right. Uh, brown <laughs> Joy. Intended. A cup of Brown Joy or Fighting Trousers. Uh, Spence, Fighting Trousers. That's that. That's the one that broke my cherry for uh, Professor Elemental. And that's the one I, I liked. I still like that song the best. Although, uh, he did this. He, he, he's got an album that... It's not this one that just came out, but the one before was um, Odd Beast, The Menagerie. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty good album. It's got a couple good songs on it. My daughter loves him, by the way. We huh. listen to it together, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's see. The, the, the Scat Show. <laughs> <Surpre> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and read it because it's true. Okay. The Scat Show surprised me on how good it was. What show surprised you? I don't know what the scat show is. Yes, you do. That was when we committed to to sharing our whole ride home from Dragon Con when we, we came up with that whole bit about oh, the, right. the, the, the scat team. Yes. Okay. Scat yeah. Force 5 or something like that. Right. right. 
right. Right. It's good. Yeah. It's in our thing in Facebook. Go look it up. It's our yeah, superhero yeah. thing. Because we're not doing it again, but all I could say is masturbation rules. Right, yeah. Um I like epilepathy. Epilepathy is my favorite. Um <laughs> what show surprised me? Um what show did we do that was just like really shocked me on how good it was or how or how much how much I liked it. Um Hmm. Let me think on that, David. I'll think about that. Let me I'm gonna pin this so I don't forget. I'll come back to that. I have to think about that one a little bit. Um shit <laughs> Um all right, so let let's do this. Uh uh do we wanna do we have another question? Oh yeah, okay. Uh which one of us was in New York for 9-11. So we'll throw that out there and you guys think about it. One of us was there when it happened and witnessed it, a good chunk of it live. Yes, one of us did. Um, And then, you know, other questions you can ask is, I, I want to talk about food a little bit. So if you all also, if you have any food questions, you know, like favorite food, favorite recipe, things we like to cook, things we can't cook, things we fucked up, anything like that. Um <laughs> You can always can always ask. Uh, and then uh, we have convention stories. You want to ask about convention? We got a couple funny convention stories. Uh, Mike has a really funny one, which I want to yeah. get want to give the room a few seconds. Oh, oh, here we go. Something's coming here. Okay. Um, oh, Harold Wiley joined. Hey, Harold, what's up? Tori uh, thinks it was me. Anyone else know, think uh, they know who was in uh, New York when nine eleven? Nine eleven. Yes, yes. Um, do you have food allergies? I have no food allergies. I can eat anything. I don't have a food allergy you per do. se, but I I'm a, I am intolerant to citric oh, acid because okay, I I, yeah. I I don't want to say you know if anyone throws citric acid in my face that I'll be like I'll, I'll look like oh my god did you happen to catch a picture of of um what's his name um um oh game designer seventh C oh uh, uh John Wick John Wick did you see a picture of John Wick John Wick <laughs> had a, an allergic reaction to something and he's like i finally found out what i'm allergic to i, was like, I swear to god look like he got punched in the face today oh, wow no i didn't and, see that no it was so crazy anyway yeah so I, I that won't happen to me i will not have an no. anaphylactic response no but you just it just doesn't sit well with you yeah i get all sniffly and <laughs> okay so all situation. right so let's see um worst panel paul cooley asked what panel have you ever been on or seen at a con um I, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It was at Balticon. It, it definitely was at Balticon, and it was a panel that I was on. Oh, I know. I know what it was. It was a gaming panel. I can't remember what the exact panel was, but it was a gaming panel, and there was this guy, this this old old white dude, right? Okay, I mean, typical. Like, And he said something, and he said, he says, yeah, that's that's like a, uh, a, a Polish mine detector where you send a, a Polak out into a minefield, and we all just looked at him like, What? Did you, I was just like, we were just fucking stunned. We're like, did you just, did you just do that? <laughs> like, and he's like, well, well, you know, when I was growing up, you know, that, that was a, that was a funny joke. And, and he tried and to backpedal. Not. It just fucking, it just, it crashed. And the rest of us on the panel were sitting there like, we were stunned. And, and like, I, I gave the guy some shit. I was like, I was like, dude, man, you can't say that kind of shit. I mean, like, you really shouldn't be thinking it, but that's okay. I mean, whatever your brain thinks is what you think, but man, you can't say that shit. I mean, come on, dude. And, real uh, quickly, real yeah. quickly, Pondy asks one of the best questions. If you okay. could be any food item and be eaten by Cooley, what would it be? Ooh. And I know what mine is. All right, you go first. Edible underwear. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I want? I'm going to be whip cream rubbed <laughs> all over your body <laughs> well there you have it there you go um <laughs> now, there you go, now there you go cooling fence wants to know about pikachu at total con and i already have that pulled up as a matter of fact do you now uh I, now i don't know what we should do though like i i could drop it into the chat and people could watch it on their own I, I is yeah. there a way that we could or should should we show it? And if we do, are we going to have? We really can't. Weird? They they fucked YouTube up on the. We we could have. So we used to using the Hangout. We used to be able to uh, show YouTube videos, but they fucking rechanged everything. And then now you can't even show fucking YouTube videos in in in, in a Hangout, right? No, no, no. So, but even if we showed it, even if we showed it as like you showed it in a window or something, right? Nah, let's. You know what? Drop it no, in no, the no. comments, and they can watch oh, it later. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, even if you did. 
just like Jonathan would know. And where the hell is Jonathan, by the way? I don't know. The sound. I think we tried it before, Mike, and the sound is is off because you got the sound on no, my no, system. Yeah, but and... we would get we would get tagged. We would get like. Uh, oh yeah, we get tagged um, with our own we fucking. We would get a violation on our own video. Yeah, it's it's sketchy. We can't really show videos on this show. I, so, I, we used to be able to, but they YouTube fucked that up. With that said, and I believe this is it. Uh, All right, so Mike's boom. gonna drop. Mike's gonna drop. That's... We we filmed the prank. It was a Pikachu prank. I had a. Uh, um, Steve's, I'll pin it to the top. Yeah. Steve's <laughs> brother-in-law, Nino, got into a Pikachu outfit, and we played a prank on Mike. So if you haven't seen yes. Pikachu yeah, Chooses Mike, you should watch that at some point after this yeah, show is over. You really should because it's uh, – yeah. And That's the great fun. thing about my prank is I had to edit it myself. I had to edit that he, video. He had, I made him edit his own prank video. <laughs> oh, Lynn says hot dog or taco? Taco every time. I'll eat hot dogs, but man, tacos, it, tacos are the shit. Is that a code? I I but I would say taco too. Oh, regardless. if that's a code, definitely. I'm still definitely with I'm sticking with taco. Stick with taco. Yeah, taco. Good answer, Mike. Good answer. Thank you. Good call. <laughs> um would you eat animal testicles? Who says I haven't? <laughs> well, uh that is an interesting one because I would say it is probably in one of two or three foods that I at this point. I don't think I could eat, and I am very, I'm very uh, open-minded, uh, and it would have to be literally like an Iron Chef that prepared it, and I, then I would consider eating it. Nah, I'd fucking eat it. I don't care. I, yeah, I, I, know, this, I, know, I know you would. Like whatever, you probably had some. Yeah. You know what, Mike? I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna shock you. I would eat a cooked spider. Like if it was cooked by people who know how to cook it. Like I was in Thailand or something, and yeah. they have they they serve spiders and shit there. I'd I'd eat it. I'd try it. I, I would eat that way before I would eat a uh, testicle. A testicle. Oh, hmm. yeah. not confident in your. Uh... No, I, I and oh. I am. I'm okay with that. I'm. I'm okay, okay not being confident in but my just, test, testicular, testicular taste. Testicle. <laughs> my, my, my testicle culinary. <laughs> uh, Paul Nunes, Nunes says uh, not all heroes wear. Their underpants on the outside. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Paul, Paul just checked. He's like, fun watching. All right. Uh, <laughs> where are we? Okay, Mike dropped the thing. Peter, uh, 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 no shit, Jonathan, where are you? Yes, Jonathan, where the fuck are you? Um, Rocky Mountain Oysters, yeah. Uh, no, what was your favorite no. podcast that you listened to? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, um, yeah. Well, it's not this one because I <laughs> – no. I <laughs> I do check this one out from time to time just to make sure our quality yeah. is good. But other than that, uh, other podcasts. Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Uh, what do I – but what do I listen to regularly? You know, there's a lot of podcasts that I like, but one that I go to all the time is Radio Lab. Radio Lab is one of my favorites. But they – dude, they, they put like a shit ton of money and work and effort in that podcast – so, like, basically, to answer that question properly, then Radio Lab is the one that you are is most have, would have the most weekly plays. Like, you do not yes. miss that. Okay. No, I will. I listen to that all the time. I like Radio Lab. For me, Skeptics Guide to the Universe. I'm still very. Uh, wow. like, that's that's my Monday morning show. I I listen to on the way to work and right. as I'm at work. So I will say another one I don't miss. Um, I'm except I'm behind like two episodes just because I've been really busy. Is um, it's this one uh, uh what, what is the name of that uh, that group? Uh, Shadow Publications. Um, some fucking jerk off Cooley runs that has stories on it or something. I don't know. I, I listen to that one pretty regularly. Um, <laughs> send me a link. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I do listen to a couple. Like hardcore history, I like hardcore history a lot. But that's hard because it's like fucking four and five hours long. It's they're like audio books, and I'm trying to listen to audio books, um, as well. So, and uh, what else? Um, um, Night Attack. Night Attack. Yeah, Mike, you're big. You're a big Night I'm Attack a big fan. fan. Yep, yep. Yeah. We like, steal love, stuff from them all the time. Attack. By the way. But we were we were given permission. They yeah, said we were, steal it yes. because it's been stolen already. So, okay. Which fictional character do you relate to them? Relate to and wish you wish you were most like. Ooh, okay. Deadpool, that's two. That's two Deadpool, different things. Two different things Deadpool, for me. Deadpool, Deadpool. Right, Not so Mike one is, thing for me. Deadpool. Deadpool. Mike is Deadpool. Okay. For me, uh, which fictional character do you most relate to? And that is the Incredible Hulk. Um, 
I would love to have that power. I would love to be able to just fucking engage my anger and go fucking crazy and just rip fucking everything to pieces. But I don't wish I was most like that. Uh, That is just a part of me that that I enjoy. But I I don't wish I was like that. You realize you said that you are the Incredible Hulk. Essentially, if I had powers... I would be, I would be him. Uh, who do I want to be like fictional character? Um, God damn it. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, there's so many good ones. Um, who would I, who do I admire? Um, again, another one I'll have to come back to. I have to think about that. That's a very, that's a very, I'm taking that question very seriously. Um, guilty pleasure. You always go back to Mike. What is my guilty pleasure? That I always go back to. Masturbating? That's not a guilty pleasure. Oh, that's true. We're, we're not 12. Guilty years. pleasure. Thing that I should be embarrassed about. Or thing that I am embarrassed about, but I like it anyway. Like, I know oh. it's horrible, but I love it anyway. Flash. Yeah, ah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's I don't, what is your guilty pleasure? What? Mm. Oh, you like Breakfast Club, man. You're, you're, that's like teenage girl movies. Yeah. From back when you when we were kids. Back in the day, but like me and a, a an old friend of mine memorized every line of the Breakfast yeah. Club. But yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, maybe. Right. other than you, who didn't? Right, right. right. All right, hey, uh, we're about nine forty three. I'm just saying, we want to. Jesus, we're, we're, wow, I that know. was fast. God Honestly, damn, I'm telling you, man, we can we can pull this shit off. Just you and me. We don't uh, need no stinking. Well, we need guests, but describe the worst date you ever went on. Uh, all right, I can do that real quick. Um. I met this girl in a club while I was drinking. I was heavily drunk. I had just broken up with some girl and I was fucking feeling shit for myself and I'd gotten plastered and I met this girl at the bar. I didn't even remember what she looked like. And I talked to her on the phone during the week and when I met up with her, I was so unattracted to her. I just, there was nothing. There was no chemistry. I had zero attraction to her. Um, and I was very nice. I took her on the date. I did all the things and I was very nice to her. Um, I didn't like, I wasn't like a dick because I, you know, I was unhappy or whatever, you know, we went out, we had a good time. I was very polite. Um, but at the end of the date, we were both like, this isn't gonna right. And we're like, I was like, I, and she's like, yeah, me. Yeah. And it was it. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that oh, was so the worst date. So she didn't put a notch in your belt. Hell no, no. Wasn't oh, attracted. Okay. And I gotta tell you, it was pretty much a blind date. All right, Mike. <laughs> Oh, she was blind? No, 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 no. I was blind when I met her. I was drunk. Oh, so uh, drunk. Ah, uh, you know me. I don't date. I just pretty much go out and then fall in love with somebody. So Yeah. Mike Mike doesn't have like bad I, dates. I, I, he, I don't, he Yeah, I don't I have bad marriages. He's a bad marriage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh that said, why don't we play a game? Because I have a game. Prepared to right. today. All right, you know we got to do it. We have I we have a whole list of shit to I talk about. We got to do another listen, one of these. Yeah, listen, there there's times when we are not going to have guests, or we're going to have a guest bail, bail out. And I think we've proved that we have enough of our friends that are that are in the in the room with us now, and are our misfits, and that I think that we can carry fun conversations and just bullshit like. You know, like we've always fantasized about when we were like driving to Dragon Con, going, "Why can't, th- why can't we do a show like this where we're just fucking bullshitting and telling stories? Why hey, can't we do that?" Real quick, I'll get, I'll get this one last one in. Uh, Spence asks, "What is the the tabletop game we go to when we have people visiting?" And if you're talking about just like a like a game, just somebody stops by and does a pickup game, like a board game or whatever like that. Uh, mine is Cards Against Humanity. I I, I yeah. really like that. Love um, the Cards Against Humanity. Uh, I just picked up. Um, I like that political one that you picked up. That was a good one too. Yeah, and I have their action news one that's coming I, that they kickstarted. Okay, I picked up uh, Joking Hazard. Haven't had a chance to play that yet. Okay, all right. Um, and I also have Code Names. So okay. And if you're talking about a role play, if somebody, were, I don't really have people stop by and play role playing games like a pickup role playing game. But if I were to do that, uh, it would be Savage Worlds because it's easy to just it's easy to like just fucking boop and start playing. It takes like three minutes you can pull a character out of, you know I have, I have a bunch of characters i made i can set them down we could play and go right away all right all right uh, so no more questions we can't take any more questions we got a game to play so mike i'm gonna put it on you because you're running this one right yes sir. um but i'm going to switch over to the game 
Here you go, Mike. Just let me let me know when you're done doing this. Good to go. And we're good okay. To go. Uh, is your music playing? I, I can't hear. Yeah, there's music playing. Yes. All right. <laughs> hey, welcome to Game Time with the Mythwits. I'm your GM, your game master, Michael Kafis, and today we're going to play. Is Pete smarter than a neural network? Nice. I'm not probably. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> today's game specifically is D and D spell or N and N spell, neural network spell. Okay. Is the is the following spell name from actual D and D source material of any source material? Okay. Right. Or is it made up by our neural network? I, I believe it was made up by Shane, the neural network Shane. If Shane. anyone is right. If anyone's okay. trying to keep track. Now, uh, some of the ones that were blatantly obvious because neural networks have a curve, <laughs> they hit, okay, <laughs> for the hit or miss. So I, some of the ones that were not not usable but I thought were funny was Mouse of Farts. Mouse of Farts. Okay. Mouse of Farts. I had a feeling that was a giveaway. That's, yeah, that's probably not a D&D spell. One, one that may have been a little bit less than a giveaway is Moss Healing Word. <laughs> Okay. Healing word. Now it's a druid spell. Yeah, funny. It doesn't sound druish. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, you are only going to be given, you know, uh, you know, about the the lag time it takes for the chat room to uh, chime in. Anyway, so here we go. The first one is fear. Oh, that's a that is totally a D and D spell. Totally a D and D spell, and you are correct. Am I writing uh, these down? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess well, somebody should pull up the do, do you have the score sheet up or do you I don't have that up? handy. I'll just write it down. Okay. All right. So that's one. Okay. That, that, that is one. <laughs> uh, and don't forget, you're just beating yourself. Okay. So uh, shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> it's like any other night. Yes. Okay. Number two. Barking sphere. Oh, that's a neural network. That can't be a GND spell. Barking Sphere is a neural network spell. Nice. Very good. Now, I had to include this one regardless. I don't know if you think it is completely bogus or not, but it's called Otto's Irresistible Dance. Yeah, that's absolutely D&D spell. God damn it, I hate you. That's from AD&D, brother. That's no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am never I am never doing anything <laughs> D and D with you again. <laughs> I don't play D and D. I hate, you. I hate okay. you. Okay. Now, the next one is cursing. Cursing. Say, that's a neural net. That can't. That can't be a D and D spell. That's a. That, yeah, that's that. That's a neural network. Cursing is a neural network spell. Nice. It wasn't a oh, cool I, enough name. It, it had I forgot bit. to say that fear is an invisible cone of terror causing each living creature in the area yeah, to become yeah, panicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Otto's Irresistible Dance forces its target uh, to dance uncontrollably to the exclusion of all else. Yeah. God. Do you know all those guys like Lemons and, and Otto and Bigby? They were all like characters that were in Gary Gygax's original playtest group. And one of them was Luke. I think Luke played um, Tensor. All right, so go ahead. Tensor, huh? Mm-hmm. Hardly knew her. <laughs> hey, what's the next one? Tensor's floating disc? Fuck you! <laughs> Give yourself a point. I fucking hate you. Oh, God damn you. I swear to God. I swear to God. It's not even funny. It's not funny. It's funny, but it's not funny. <laughs> Uh, say, all right, next. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. All right, all right, smart ass. What does Tensor's floating disc do? It makes a disc that floats like 20 feet behind you and you can carry your gear and shit on it. Yeah. Well, all right. So some of these I got from the 20 worst D&D spells ever made. Okay. So I want to read you the description. They made. <laughs> for this one, it's good. It said, a medium sized bowl of force that can carry loads for you while floating behind the caster. Or. You could, you know, spend a couple of gold and get a goddamn backpack. <laughs> Dude, for like three copper pieces, you could hire somebody to carry your shit for you. 
<laughs> right? All okay. Right. All right. The next one is True Streak. True that's an, Streak. That's a neural network. Neural network. And you are correct. Nice. Wow. So I guess the goal for this is if I can get you to get, get one wrong. One wrong. <laughs> one wrong and I win. That's hey, the curve. David Benavidi said Big B's clinching fist, right? But in <laughs> that's not all he used that fist for. Anyway, guy Mike, <clears throat> next one. Oh, well, it was still clinched, so right. I guess it was. Um It's right, Big here. B's unclinching fist. <laughs> Oh, the minivan. No. Right. <laughs> no, Mike. Right. Minivan. Oh. Two in the front. Two in the front. Five in the rear. Five in the rear. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, the next one is Foreman's Beating Sphere. <laughs> That's got to be a neural network. They would never name something Beating Sphere. I mean, y you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. God damn it, you're right. Okay. All right. The next one. What the hell is that noise? That's my dog chewing on her squeaky oh, toy. Great. <laughs> squeaky toy. All right. All right. <laughs> Wrathful hound. How appropriate. Wrathful. You might get hound. me on this one because this could be a D and D spell. Wrathful. It has that cool sound to it. I'm gonna say it's a D and D spell. That's a. But Mike, if I get this one right, this one's totally a guess. I have no idea. Well, wrathful hound is. A neural network spell. Nice. Neural network got me. I got a point. Yes. I got a point. Okay. Right. Here we go. Uh, the next one. Are right, you going to make a prediction for two points what the next one is, you asshole? Uh, <laughs> hold on. I got to make sure I can read this right. I can't see that far. Spooge. Spendlord's Chaser. That's a Spendlord's network. Chaser. That that's a neural network. Uh, if you were to say that Spendlord's Chaser is a neural network spell, you would be incorrect, sir. Uh oh, neural it's network a, got me again. A spell that mainly cured hangovers and drug withdrawal. Oh, nice. Spendlord's okay. Chaser. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Your next one is Stone Share. Stone Share. Stone Ooh, see, now share. you're getting good on me. Um, Stone Share. Uh, another guess. I'm say D and D. Let's see. Uh, Stone Share is a neural network spell. Damn it, neural network. All right, yeah, points cool. at the All right, end. get some points. Neural networks get some points. I mean, I think you you're still overall beating the neural network. Oh yeah. Uh, and with two more to go, I would say that if you don't get these next two, uh the neural network is may tie with you, but since you're the guest, I guess you win. No, it can't it cannot beat me. <laughs> I have 7, it has 3. Oh, all right. All right, your next one is Corpse Light. Corpse Light. Corpse Light. It's like corpse, just without the calories, <laughs> with less calories. I, so is it a spell that turns corpses, it like removes the fat from a corpse so that you can eat it? It's just lean, lean corpse. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. it's, it's Corpse Light. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's a D&D &D spell. Corpse Light is a D, D spell however yes. makes corpses glow mm -hmm. that's it perhaps it would be helpful in the dark but it wouldn't be nearly as helpful as say a simple light spell which didn't require <laughs> a nearby dead person to con as a conduit <laughs> I know, I know how often do you use how do you use corpse light i mean it's like i could it's probably a necromancer spell but but at the yeah. same time it's like it's like uh hey uh bob bob Yes, what? Why, why, light. why, why are you, why are you carrying our fallen comrade around with you? Uh, I'm out of torches. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Either that or suppose you're an undead. Yeah. It's like, uh, Bob? Huh? Why are you glowing? 
Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, uh, somebody just pit, cast corpse light. <laughs> you mean you're dead? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I, I have a glowing personality. I mean, I guess, right. I, I guess if you had a bunch of zombies and it was dark and they were attacking you, that would be a very specific case where that spell would come in really fucking handy. I guess if you're looking for a dead body and you're just like, you know. Or if you're meeting your enemy in a graveyard and the dead start coming up and you want to scare him beyond just the fact that the dead are coming up. I was going to say scare him with the lights, but then the fact that, oh, the dead are coming back to life, that might be scary. <laughs> Paul, Paul said a necromancer uh, corpse light. I mean, a necromancer rave spell. You know, oh, but this is thriller. <laughs> So you'd have to like tag on this like thing where they actually pulse, you know, like yeah. like like the, the different ones blink, you know, <laughs> to the beat. <laughs> oh, All right. God. He works Two well more. with bards, right? So you'd have a bard who's playing music, and then his corpses are all dancing. Mm -hmm. it'd, be, it'd be something. It'd be something. All right. Anyway, last one. No, two more. End oh, wall. End wall. End, end wall. End wall. End, end wall. End wall. That's got to be neural network. I cast end wall. End wall, like oh, there's a wall, and I want to end it, or uh, there's we're at the I end of this thing, and I want to want a wall. Crush, an, crushing your wall. Neural neural network. That is correct. End wall is a neural network spell. Evidently, it's a. I guess they thought it was really, you know, tricksy of them because of, you know, like neural neural end firewall or something. But no, right. sorry, doesn't work in the real world, buddy. And your last one is Ship of Fools. That is this show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's our chat room. Shit show of fools. Shit show, right? Uh, sh uh sh what was it? Shit, shit fools. What? Ship of fools. <laughs> Corpse like boots and pants and yeah, boots, boots and, and pants and boots and pants. And pants and pants and pants and <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to say that that's a neural network. That That's that's got to be a neural network. Uh, ship of uh, Fools. If you call Ship of Fools a neural network spell, you would be incorrect, sir. What kind the of neural... fucking spell is this? D&D &D ended up beating you at the end. It is a confusion spell, but only for sailors. Again, off the 20 dumbest <laughs> list of 20 dumbest spells ever in D&D. Wait a minute, say that again. What does it do? It's a confusion spell. Yeah, but only for sailors. So, so in other words, you're on a ship, you cast Ship of Fools, and it's like, vroom, everyone on the on the boat is like, duh. So if if Jack Sparrow was fighting Barbosa in Pirates of the Caribbean, the first one, and he had a wizard that would cast those two spells, right? Mm -hmm. Not only would all the sailors on the ship be confused, but there'd be all these glowing dead people all around them. So maybe they would start dancing like it was a rave and be There you go. I, I don't know. Well, if someone casts Otto's dancing blicks of yes. Palooza. Oh, see? all three of them motherfuckers. Damn. That would be yeah, that that is a party boat right there. Right. A party boat of the dead. That is a very specific character and situation. Well, <laughs> Can you see it now. Good. I've spent my whole life playing for this moment in time. <laughs> Ship of fools, you say. All right. Well, you know, you you really uh, spanked me on the uh, on the first half of the game there, but at least I, I got a few good <clears throat> licks in on you there. Yeah. Nine to four, not too bad, Mike. Yeah. So yeah. so wait a minute. So do I get to do this thing? Yeah. Yes. Ship of fools, right here. <laughs> Shit show of fools. Shit show of fools. Shit show of palooza. Hey. Don't bother me. I'm over here drinking Corpse Light. <laughs> oh. It's all you, buddy. Doing, <laughs> doing worst corpse corpse shots. Worst fucking worst fucking beer ever. Mm. And again, <laughs> talk about the, if, hey, talk about the beer shits. Oh, uh, God. Is that a finger? <laughs> so if anyone is still want wanting to uh, see the uh, Pikachu chooses Mike. I just dropped it in the chat one last time near the end of the show. Okay. Uh, it is pinned to the top, but I don't know what will happen when the, you know, I, I still don't understand this whole comment thing after the show. It's like I can never find 
a comment that I'm looking for. Right. right. Hey, <laughs> I don't I don't get it. Just uh, and don't forget, Spence is going to be doing the same thing Wednesday night on her on her Facebook Live. So go go like her page and and uh, and check it out. Um, Mike uh, jumped the uh, jumped the gun on her and uh, hey hey, you know, watch it easy, there, buddy. Easy there, easy there, partner. Easy, easy, Otto. Hey, did anyone anyone have a, a a comment about Mike's color beard before we go and um. What were the two things I was thinking of? One was uh, yes, Scott. I uh, love spanking and licking. <laughs> One of them was uh, uh, who? Do, what fictional character do I admire? And um, God, you know that's a tough one. That is so tough. <laughs> and Paul just threw down the gauntlet for uh, Pondy to, to make a logo for Corpse Light. <laughs> oh yeah, Pondy, Corpse Light. <laughs> If you make that T-shirt, I'll buy that motherfucker. I will wear that shit too. Um, Could be the first merchandise-related uh, Mythwits. You know, I, all right. So the character in uh, Robin Williams' character in uh, uh, um, "What Dreams May Come," I liked him because he was he was very endearing. He he. Uh, um, he had like a very beautiful personality because of where he went after he died, even after all this shit, horrible shit whoa, happened. Whoa, to whoa, him. whoa, whoa! Time out, time out. Robin Williams was not in Wet Dreams May Come. No, no, went, no, not Wet. No, Dreams. I saw that movie. He was not in it. <laughs> what Dreams May Come is a great movie, uh, and, and his character was his character was really cool. I, I really, uh, the, it was just something about his character. Which he had this super genuineness about him. He never gave up on his wife. Uh, he didn't give up on people, and uh, you know he 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 was very admirable, a ad, very admirable character. Um, and I can't remember what was the other thing. There was something else, and I can't go back far enough to find it. So I'm sorry. I'll think about it. Hit me up later, and I'll 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 figure it out. <laughs> that was a you porn clip. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever say yours? Who? Oh, you're Deadpool, right? Deadpool too. That's your go-to guy. That's who you want to be. That's who you admire. That's your. That's a person you look up to. Deadpool. <laughs> yes, uh, Dead- I I prefer an antihero. Yeah, Deadpool I, is who you look I, up to. He I because he is always going to do the right thing for the wrong unintended reason. in the end. Right, and it's you know he will end up saving everyone, getting the girl, and being the the hero. But I love his journey. <laughs> right. Okay. Fantastic. All right. All right. <laughs> and you know what? Pondy. Wet dreams make up. That's right. Do you, that's another shirt. That's that's my man there. Pondy, make that shirt. <laughs> Corpse light. <laughs> Necromancer's beer of choice. Right. <laughs> 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 All right, let's end the thing. So here we go. Let's, blah, 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 blah. Poof. All right, you all have just enjoyed another episode of The Mythwits. This one was really good, man. God damn, Mike, good suggestion. Good suggestion, Spence. Um, yes, we're live on Facebook Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to do this again. Uh, I got a bunch of shows lined up, so it may not even be. Maybe we'll do this the mid-season opener, like after we come back in July. Maybe the first show, we'll do another Ask Us Anything. Because, I mean, I got, I got shit scheduled all the way through. Uh, all the way through until June. Uh, please, a- please ask our guests questions or just banter with the other myth fits. If you miss our live show, you can always catch the Encore episode on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, find us on Facebook, Twitter as MythWits, and check out MythWits.com. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. And I am so sorry for everything being late all the friggin' time. They're all up at this moment. Uh, it's all caught up. If Or you can listen at mythwits.podbean.com. Do like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. And make sure to share your favorite episode on social media and help spread Mythwits love, our love, all over the entire planet. Mythwits is part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out tsrpn.com for more cool shows. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't sell it. And don't forget to put powder on it. If you're going to watch more than one episode at a time, that's a story for another time, Mike. We didn't get to that. Uh, Make sure to check out Studio187.com for more cool stuff. 
if you see Mike, ask him about po- wearing powder. Um, and oh, in episode 513, we had to take it down because Brian uh, apparently needed permission from ASCAP to be talking about ASCAP. Uh, he didn't get in any trouble as far as I know, but we had to take it all down. So that Evidently, episode's gone. What now. happens is the ASCAP has to stay at ASCAP. <laughs> yeah, what happens? Right, yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for, <laughs> for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And until next week, Mike... Hey, are we still doing the how many dicks can Mike fit in his mouth? At We're going to do that. Balticon? We are. We, you want to do it at Balticon? <gasps> We're doing it at Balticon. But I. Yes, because we'll have a whole audience we can poll. Dude, I got to get a prize. We got to give a prize out for whoever gets it right. Oh, yeah. Dicks at Balticon, baby. Dicks out. Balticon. Dicks out in Mike's mouth at Balticon. Yes. All right. That's the show, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. (laughs) Bye-bye.